Hi guys, today I am going to discuss about a static class. So first point is a static class does not contain instance constructor. Uh, second point, a static class are shared in C of .NET but in final in Java. It means we can't inherit the static class. Uh, third point, we can declare a static class or member by using a static keyword. And uh, fourth point is a static class and its member or don't need any object to invoke them. It means a static class and a static class members enable us to access its data and member function without creating an instance of the class. And uh, fourth point is a static class doesn't contain any non-static method or members. So now I'm going to show you one example. So let's create uh, one new project. And here uh, I'm going to give uh, a static class. So inside the uh, namespace, I'm going to create a static class public static class first. So right there, I'm going to take to a static type integer variable or uh, access a specifier public a static int a comma B. So at to uh, uh, this point, a static clause does not contain any non-static method or members. So right here, if you declare a simple or uh, variable, so And if you debug the code, so right here, error message I got, I cannot declare instance uh, member in a, a static class. So we cannot declare instance member in a static class. But if you write right there a static int c, then uh, that will okay. <clears throat> uh, so now this okay. So right there, we can't uh, uh, declare non-static members in a static class. So let's uh, uh, create one constructor by a static uh, constructor first. And here I am going to initialize A with 100 and B with 200. <coughs> now hereafter Uh, let's uh, create uh, one more method of uh, public static of uh, wide <coughs> and uh, one. So inside I am going to write console class with right line method to display. Uh, 
um, output in the screen. So value of a equal to plus and the same thing with b. Let's copy that particular code and add your change a to b and b. So that will print and by using plus operator that is can concatenate the value of a. A value 100 so the value of a equal to 100 will come. Now uh, let's uh, create one simple method public first and uh, copy this particular code and uh, now there is no any error is showing so let's debug the code and uh, got the error the error message is a static class cannot have instance constructor so we can't declare instance constructor inside the static class So let's uh, remove this one and uh, now next point is let's create uh, non-static method of pointer and uh, add the Now debug the code, then again uh, errors comes out, cannot declare instance members in a static class. So we cannot declare instance member. So let's uh, remove this particular code. Now comes to uh, main method and uh, let's so try to create a uh, object of first class then got the error uh, error messages cannot declare a variable of a static type cannot create an instance of a static class that means we can't make a object of a static class at the so let's uh, call the function so either you can call at there a b or one one now uh, let's debug the code. So now a value of a equal to 100 and value of b equal to 200. So about to a static uh, uh, static uh, class. A static class doesn't contain any static method or member. Already discussed and. Uh, a static class does not contain instance constructor I discussed already and uh, a static class are saved in CSA uh, finally in Java means it means we cannot inherit the static class means uh, another subclass cannot take the properties of superclass if you declare superclass as a static class and we can declare a static class member by using a static keyword and fourth point a static class and its member don't need to 
create any uh, any object to invoke them it means a static class and members enable us to access its data and member function without creating an instance so i can't create uh, instance at the by directly we can call a uh, class name with dot operator and function name so now it's all about a static class it's done at you thanks for watching see you in next video